This is the spot. We can cut the half Koopa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. A few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Ah! 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 
You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? Why people are known for their culture? Not surprised. Esteem. Odin's ravings. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's <laughs> ravings is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. When the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? Old. What is that? Ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then.
remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hmm. <laughs> I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Now, if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> Bloody Drogger. You're on fire, Kratos! It will fire! <laughs> You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Vimir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. It's my ah! Yes. Like your mother's. Aha! I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you... not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. You collected Kavasir's stories? Give him here! Huge fan! What can I make for you? The elves don't get enough credit for their art. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. I'll disinfect my tools. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Anything more to discuss? Let's see. <coughs> Oh, definitely need that. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship-shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, 
Do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. some new stuff for you. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? Destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control, anyway. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. For mine, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. 
I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you.